Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. Today I'm going to be covering the top five mistakes that Wix users do that could drastically help improve their website performance. Let's get started. Number one is consistency. There are so many times when I see someone design a website and maybe like the fonts and colors are all off. So what you really want to do is make sure that all of your fonts and stuff are all the same and consistent throughout your entire site so that everything looks like it belongs. So just switching those two fonts made this website look like they go together and it, it was on purpose. So make sure across your whole entire website that you're using maybe one or two fonts going back and forth between them and maybe even just like a couple colors. You don't want something drastically changing from one page to the other. And this also goes for strip widths. So here you can see the height on this one is 400. This one is only 380. So if we bump this one up to 400, then it looks like it belongs on the website a little bit better. Number four is animations. Now if we view this website now, it looks okay. But if you click on the element, click this little animation icon and add like a fade in, then you can see when we preview the site, it just adds that small little detail that makes it look more customized and professionally made. In addition to animations, on background images such as this, you can press this background scroll effect and select parallax. And when we preview it, you can kind of see that the background doesn't move quite as much and this is a very popular modern website design. So this will help your website stand out as well. Number three is general information. So if we go over to the site dashboard, you can kind of see that it just says my site. It doesn't have a customized domain or anything like that. And this is not going to help your website perform at all. So if we go over to settings and we select general information right here on the left side, here you can add the name of your company. You can add a logo, a short description, how you would describe your business. So you can do like restaurant and food, do a subcategory like restaurant. That way it tells Google what you are. So if someone's looking for a restaurant nearby, your website will actually pop up and that is what you want. If you are undefined, then Google won't know to promote your business when a user searches for a restaurant in Google. In the general info, you can also update your fav icon. This is that little icon that shows up in your browser. If you don't really have one, your site won't look as professional. Then if we go over to overview, here you can change your site name and you can manage a domain. If you want a domain on your website, which would help your website seem more professional, you're gonna need a premium plan, not just the free version. Number two is SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. If we go back to my previous example, when someone searches for a restaurant, you need to tell Google that you are a restaurant that is open for them to promote your business. To enable this, you need to go to your dashboard and go to Marketing and SEO, and then go ahead and press this Get Found on Google. Here, you'll be able to set up the initial SEO for your website. So if we just, for this example, we're just going to do cafe because whatever. Obviously, you're going to put your company name in right here. Then if you have a physical address, go ahead and put it in. Next, you want to describe your business in three keyword phrases. And then I press comma so I can start a new one. And then once you have three, ver three keyword phrases, go ahead and do create SEO plan. And then it's going to go ahead and use the three phrases that you created. And then you're going to want to go through this whole SEO plan so that you can make sure that your site is optimized for Google. Also in the editor, you're going to want to make sure that you go to menu and pages, click this little three dot icon, go to SEO and make sure that all of this is what you need it to be. So for this, 
we obviously don't want my site. So we're gonna go here. And I think for this example, we just had cafe. And then we're also gonna go ahead and put Dallas, Texas. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab this text right here. And we're gonna make this the headline text for our SEO. So right over here, what makes this page unique, we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. You probably don't wanna use all caps here, but you get the idea. And then you also wanna go up to social share and fill this out as well. So this is what is gonna show when someone posts it to LinkedIn or Facebook. So you can choose like an image and we'll just choose one from the site files. Obviously you're gonna choose a different image and then you're gonna have this update and it shows you what it's gonna look like on Facebook. And then on here, it's gonna show you what it looks like on Google as well. So I would go through each one of your pages and fill this out. And lastly, number one is mobile. About 50% of your users are probably gonna be visiting your website on a mobile device. Now, just because you have your desktop version of your site looking really nice and professional, does not mean your mobile is gonna look as nice. So if we switch over to the mobile, you're gonna see it doesn't look quite right and it looks kind of ugly to be honest. So in order to fix this, you need to kind of edit the site how you want it to look like on mobile. A little bit of a pro tip, most of the text on the website might look good on your editor when you're viewing it on a computer, but if you look on it on an actual mobile device when you publish it, this will look really big. So I suggest sizing it down quite a bit to so 13, and that will really help make it look really nice and clean. So once you're finished with mobile, you can change your site from looking like this to look like this. Thank you guys for watching. If you did learn anything, please press that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next one.